Good morning. Thank you all for being here today. My name is Todd Rufo with the Office of Economic Workforce Development. We're here today to announce a new initiative called Fashion SF, an economic development program focused on the apparel manufacturing and fashion design industry. Uh, before I hand it over to the mayor, uh, I wanted to quickly introduce our speakers today. First off, uh, following the mayor will be Supervisor Malia Cohen, representing District 10. And uh, following Supervisor Cohen will be Roger Case, who's the president of ISDA and Company and the chair, the co-chair of the newly formed Fashion Industry Working Group. And finally will be Lynette from, Lynette Kaysen from Kaysen Design, uh, who's gracious enough to host us today. Following uh, our speakers, we'll do Q&A related to this announcement. And uh, following that, we'll do a tour of the, uh, of Lynette's workshop here, and as well as the sewing factory across the street. So with that, Mayor Lee. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, I'm excited to be here, and thank you, uh, Lynette. Uh, Thank you very much for hosting this here in a really clean, beautiful place. Uh, and this is part of the whole story of what we wanted to do here today is to celebrate the uh, Kaysen uh, manufacturers, culinary uh, apparel manufacturers and accessories. And they've been doing this now for about 20, almost 20 years. And uh, Lynette is uh, one of, I think, the original. She's a women-owned business, uh, nationally certified. She's done all the things right, but the things she's done the most right. Uh, is uh, create jobs in the city in an industry that uh, I had uh, understood for many, many years. I don't know if you knew this, as a, as a civil rights attorney, I used to represent a lot of garment workers in Chinatown, and my mom was a seamstress. So in those earlier years, Rogers, you remember, I, uh, my mom also used, used the words, she knew Fritzy, she knew Byers, she knew all these national brands of design companies that were down here. And, then over the years, over the decades, they moved out over uh, to the Far East for their manufacturing, and nobody knows what's made of them. But now, I think there is a really great interest. And uh, I know uh, Kaysen uh, is the high end. Uh, you'll see their uniforms uh, reflected in the staffs of uh, Water Bar, of the Mandarin Hotel. Uh, of uh, You'll probably see them on Bon Appetit, uh, and all of these high end things. And, uh, you know, when you come into a first-class restaurant, you obviously enjoy uh, the uniforms that people wear, and that in and of itself is a great fashion design, and that's what Kaysen does and has done very, very well. But they're only one representative. There's now, uh, I think, uh, around 20 large uh, clothing manufacturers, apparel manufacturers here in the city. There's uh, over 30 smaller ones, and we want them to have an infrastructure uh, that supports their needs. and. Uh, s that's what we talked about uh, several months ago when uh, a number of us got together through uh, uh, Roger's leadership and uh, our own Office of Economic Development and SF Made. We, we got together uh, over dim sum, by the way, and uh, started thinking creatively how we could support our local apparel industry in light of the fact that not only are the manufacturers interested in growing here in the city, but there is a very distinct growth of designers that are coming out of academies like uh, the Art Institute or the, uh, uh, or the San Francisco uh, Art Academy. Uh, very young designers who are uh, designing clothing and want to have a local place. And they're suggesting to us that uh, one of the most valuable levels of the apparel industry, the actual cutters, can actually be found here in the Bay Area. Uh, and they're, they're coming from all over the world, but they're located right here. It used to ve very be, uh, be that the, the challenge was that all the world-class cutters were in the Far East or some other, or in Europe, and so you had to locate your manufacturing business over there. That's changing, and the designers are here. Uh, there's, a, there's a growth of the cutters that are here, so the industry is signaling that we can actually do more manufacturing here if we have a city that will embrace uh, and help with establishing that industry. So that's where the uh, idea came. And we started a, uh, a working group of uh, manufacturers. Uh, uh, they include uh, uh, Roger Case from ISDA, a company here. They include uh, Miranda and uh, Chang and, and Johnny, Johnny Fa uh, from, the, uh, from the apparel, uh, sewing apparel industry. Uh, and also Western Wear, who's here today. Uh, uh, they're here, they started uh, just talking with us about how the city can afford it. So there's a reason why uh, we're coming here today on Apparel Way, if you didn't notice. Uh, 
we, we've had this history in the city, and we want to revise it, we want to revitalize it, and we think we can do that by signaling that uh, our uh, city through the Office of Economic Development and having a sector manager like Ellen Parker uh, to work with us. And I, I know that this has been something that uh, Supervisor Cohen has been very interested in because she dressed so nice. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, every time I see her, I say, "Oh, where'd you get that? That's that's, that's really nice." That you know, she's she's of course. Uh, I'm gonna get out the road and say fashion conscious, but in the city of like San Francisco, everybody has to be, and you want to be in the restaurants, and you want to you want to really reflect the fashion of the of the times and of the seasons. And we have very distinct seasons here, uh, and, li and like I and like I said, uh, we. Uh, you know, my, my own family history has been involved in the uh, apparel industry and my own professional life as, as an attorney uh, had been involved in representing people who worked in the industry of all walks of life. So I, I love this industry and that's why I was very excited uh, that uh, Roger and so many other people who, who are here today, and I know there's uh, people that met with us at, at that dim sum lunch. If you all raise your hands, who, who you are here that, that came, Yes, SF Made and, and others, yeah. And they're gonna be part of a working group uh, that we started uh, to launch this uh, Fashion SF. Uh, we're gonna go through uh, ideas like how we can support the industry. Is there real estate there? What kind of economic zones they can uh, partake in? What relationships they do not have today that uh, they could create through our office that uh, helps uh, people find jobs, help connect the talent uh, that is coming out of our fashion design industry and our fashion schools that are being created. City College is getting into it. SF State's getting into it, along with uh, Academy of Arts Academy and the uh, Arts Institute. And as you know, all of those have been creating culinary schools. And then along with the culinary schools have been culinary apparel and fashion. Um, and I think that all goes along with the artistic presentation of not only food, but the industry and the hotel industry, very much apropos uh, to our tourism and convention uh, area as well. So I want to announce that today. I want to announce that uh, we have Ellen Parker. want to uh, signal her out. She's going to be our director of this effort, and she's going to be the point person that connects up with uh, the ongoing working group that Roger and others are going to head with us. Uh, and with the uh, 30, the 50 different manufacturers here, how we can do it well in the city, and then how we can hire more people in very good jobs, right? Yeah, very good jobs that are good paying jobs, but ones that uh, resonate with me personally, as I said earlier. And I think that uh, we will be well on our way to uh, what we've done in other industries, particularly like the tech industry. We want our apparel industry to stay, to really start here as, as uh, Lynette has uh, done for 20 years, to stay here and then now we're gonna help them grow. And this whole philosophy of uh, these companies to start, to stay and to grow, that's been my uh, focus as mayor, and I'm gonna continue doing that. And I know this apparel industry has a great chance of success because the economics are showing up that moving things over to other countries is not really working. If you've got the designers and the cutters right here locally, then it's going to support the actual manufacturing of these clothing right here in the Bay Area, right here in this area. So uh, we're signaling that. We think that this is going to be a, a great uh, industry that will grow here and will create many, many good paying jobs for all people of all different levels. Uh, so I want to thank you all for coming and uh, uh, let's start with the other with the other, with the other speakers as well. Yeah. Thanks. Supervisor Cohen. Thank you. Thank Ms. Fasson. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, the mayor, he flatters me when he talks about uh, my fashion. I mean, th this man, he's creating his own fashion, casual but functional and workable and chic. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I haven't been, I've been called other names. And <laughs> so so, so he's, uh, he's definitely a, a trailblazer uh, in his own right. But I'm here to say thank you and congratulations to uh, Lynette. Thank you for all of your wonderful, beautiful designs. I mean, some of them, you know, I mean, I'm not much of a cook, but I could, I could rock that apron uh -huh. around <laughs> and it would give the appearance as if I knew what I was doing. 
So, and then to the workers, thank you very much. I, the best thing about um, being out here in District 10 and kicking off this wonderful initiative is that we are stimulating a local economy. And I think that's really critical when we think about in today, today's age what's been going on nationally, when we think about the Occupy movements that's happening all around the country. Right here locally, we are taking a hold of our own future and putting our own people to work. So I want to say thank you. That's very important to be a, an employer in, in this day and age. And I also want to say hello and congratulations to Ellen. That's going to be my point person also, um, leading the charge for this uh, fantastic initiative. And one day I am, um, I'm going to save up my pennies and I'm going to start rocking that uh, SF wear. We've got a lot of local designers. Now their designs are a little bit higher out of my price point, but um, maybe I can uh, start to save my money and maybe, I don't know, get it. <sighs> Sample sale, there it is. That's the answer that I'm looking for. So all the members of SF May, thank you so much. And uh, the uh, members of the small business community, thank you for all for leading the charge and being on the uh, cutting edge, if you will, of, um, you like that, huh? Being on the cutting edge of, 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 of not only fashion design, but also stimulating the local economy. This is a, uh, uh, an endeavor that the, both the mayor, members of the board of supervisors, we cannot do this alone. This is a, this is a good example of, of, of a solid public private partnership. And I can't help but be a little, just a little bit more prouder than, than the mayor uh, that we are here in District 10. And this is a district that last year many people would talk about it as the unforgotten, uh, the unforgotten district or the forgotten district, excuse me. And so here we are once again here in the Bayview putting District 10 back on the map, very much relevant to not only the San Francisco fashion industry, but more importantly, supporting the local economy. And I think that you will begin to see more and more um, manufacturers, it is my goal to recruit them, to come on back to the southeast part of the city. We've got plenty of space, we've got fantastic sun, we've got great, great uh, produce. We're around the corner from the produce market. I mean, this is the hub um, of, um, of, of, of growth and development, um, and it will be have a positive impact on all of San Francisco. So I just wanted to say thank you. I'm very happy to see you, and uh, keep up the good work, Shishi. And um, thank you very much. As as the mayor and the supervisor mentioned, this is a public-private partnership, and the, today's announcement includes the launch of the Fashion Working Group, which is co-chaired by. Uh, Janet Lees from SF Made, as well as Roger Case, who is the our next speaker and is formerly of uh, an executive at Esprit in North Face, and is today the president of ISDA and Company and the co-chair of the working group. Roger. Good morning, everyone. Um, it was about seven months ago. Oh, wait a minute. First of all, I have to fully disclose, uh, full disclosure here. We are sleeping with the enemy, meaning me. ISDA and Company is an import company that is now doing domestic production. And we're going to do more and more and more. And that's part of the reason that I was more or less brought on because I have experience in domestic, I have experience in import, and I know how the cost structure works there and here and what will work here so that I can be a good advice for that. It was about seven months ago that um, a good friend of the mayor's and mine, Francis So, put us together and said, you know, the mayor would like to get together with a working group of uh, executives in the apparel industry. So we gathered um, factories, we gathered uh, executives of branded companies, and it was kind of a puzzling thing because, you know, we've, uh, we've seen the, this industry struggle tremendously over the years. Um, it was an industry that was built on inexpensive goods. The mayor mentioned Corrad and Fritzy and um, brands of that sort. And I guess at that point you could have even called many of the shops sweatshops. You know, they were stuck in corners and all these various things. They weren't beautiful, well-lit places like this. Well, today, the things that are viable in this country and in San Francisco especially are the better value, the higher value, um, well-made um, goods that, such as this jacket from Nice Collective. Uh, these jeans were made in mid-market in a factory called Sky Blue. Um, these things can be made here. And yeah, they're a little bit more pricey, but that's the, that's the platform to take. You know, we can't beat Bangladesh in prices, and nor should we. We are producing a tremendous, and the other focus that I wanted to really try to push um, was, and the mayor brought it up, design and manufacturing. And the reason for design and manufacturing is that manufacturing can sit on its own. There's no reason for New York labels or LA labels to manufacture in San Francisco. 
but we have CCA, Amy Williams, um, we have Academy of Art, we have San Francisco State, we have City College, um, we have FITM, we have, we're, we're graduating, I think Amy, you told me, 300, 400 designers a year. Where are they going? Well, they go to New York, they go to LA, they go to the Far East, they go back to Europe because it, it is international. But where's the best place to live? Hey, it's here. <laughs> so, exactly, <laughs> District 10. Um, so anyway, that is the beginning part of the thrust of this. How do we get designers in some kind of an incubator mode to be able to work here using resources. There are phenomenal production resources sitting right here in San Francisco. And it's better goods, it's higher end, and it's something that will feed the manufacturing that is going to be in the city. Now, what about real estate? It's tough, expensive here, right? Well, the mayor and his group have committed to finding the right kinds of real estate so that we can put uh, manufacturers in clean, well-lighted places like this, where they can have quality jobs. And yeah, there's healthcare and all the wonderful things that we enjoy in our city. Um, Mid-market is where a lot of factories sit now. It's tough. Just put Twitter in, you know, good deal. I, 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 I think that's a very good approach. Mid-market, we all know, needs to change. Fine, let's find other places. And they're committed to working on that. Although the mayor did say, you know those factories? They're going to have solar panels on the roof because you guys use a lot of electricity. He's right. He's right. Well, it's very sunny in this part of town. So anyway, um, I'm very excited about working on this. Um, I'm very excited about bringing more production to the United States, uh, to San Francisco specifically, and, um, and making it work. And I appreciate Janet and Ellen and the mayor and everybody here in working with us. To It's going to take a lot of effort. Um, it's going to be hard, but we can do it. So let's get it together and let's do it. Thank you. All right. And now our host for today, Lynette Kaysen from Kaysen Design. All right. Good morning. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, thank you, Mayor Lee and Supervisor Cohen. It's an honor to host this event. Um, I have had this business for 20 years, but I've been in the apparel business for 35, and I have seen the changes. And it used to be a very robust industry sector, and um, it has struggled, but it is so wonderful to see it now being revived. And the, I'm very excited about the Fashion SF initiative that we're all going to be working on, the private and the public sector. And I look forward to having input in that and being able to help other people as they come on board and grow also. Thank you. All right. And uh, now we can take a few questions related to this announcement, if there's any.